Hi, this is Melissa with A Creative Journey with Melissa, and today I'm going to show you how to color in your awesomely um, created Mod Podge Mod Melts. All these awesome little um, creations are so cute and just adorable, and I wanted to show you how to create and color them yourself. So if you checked out our last video, I will put a link in my blog so that you can check it out in case you missed it. I showed you how to create these. So now I'm going from this step forward and we're going to show you how to color them. What we're using is we're using chameleon pens and I have these here. We have the BR5, the GR3, the RD4, and the BR2. Those are the colors that we're using to color in our cute little reindeer. And since I thought it was appropriate, it is that time of the year, I thought it would be good to do that right now, okay? So where we left off is I had just created this Mod Pod um, Mod Melter creation and it's a reindeer, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you we just, it's cooled off and just gonna pop it out. It's very simple. It, it's uh, silicone so it doesn't stick, it's perfect, okay? I'm gonna put this on the side because we don't need that anymore. And as you can see here, there's a whole bunch of other ones that you can do. We have a bunch of different um, silicone molds that you can use. Um, be sure to check them out. Um, these are um, made by my friends Kathy and Steve. They're awesome. And they work with Mod Podge and they've been phenomenal and in, in innovative ideas and they're just amazing. So here are some of the ones that I had created with the Mod Melts. And here are some of the ones that I created and had colored. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do today. Um, this one is a tree. We're not doing this one today, but I created this and I thought it was really kind of neat because this looks kind of fall and I thought this was perfect for a Halloween card because it's black and looked eerie. And then we have this one here, which I thought was really cute. It looks kind of like a sunflower. All right. And this here is the reindeer. I just love it. So I'm going to show you how to color that today after I trim it up, okay? And we use chameleon markers on this. Chameleon pens, chameleon, chameleon markers, whichever you choose, <laughs> okay? So we're going to show you how to do that. So first what I'm going to do is sometimes when I um, when I pour the stuff in, sometimes it does actually go a little bit further over than I think. And it's hard to see, especially when um, you can't see the inside of the mold. So I'm just going to trim some of this up. Not too shabby. Just try to make it a little bit more even. That looks good. I'm going to trim this up a little bit. Okay. And then I got to trim up the tail. Kind of went overboard there. And then trim it right there. Other than that, I think it's pretty good. Oh, right over by the bow I need to do as well. Okay. Get this little piece off. And then by the foot and the bow. So I'm just trimming off these little excess pieces. Okay, and then right here. So we're just trying to make sure that it looks like the thing that it actually was. I went a little bit overzealous with the, um, the Mod Pod um, Mod Melter stick because I wanted to make sure it was filled in. So that's what I did. And I tend to do more than less, which may be good and may not. But in this case, I think it's better than not enough because then you can have some big problems with your creation. So I'm just gonna do this little snip right here and I think we're done. Yep, right there, okay. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this to the side. I'm gonna clean off our little spot right here. We don't need this anymore. Um, this is the Mod Melter. If I didn't tell you already, I apologize. Um, if you checked out our last video, you'd see this is a Mod Melter. It's basically like an awesome, super duper um, glue gun that you can use with the, um, the high temperature mini um, sticks, the uh, Mod Melt sticks. 
and they're awesome. You can get all different kinds. There is white, clear, uh, there's glitter red, glitter green, I think glitter gold and silver, um, and then there's other colors, and you can also color them yourself, which if you've seen any of my videos, you know how I like to just buy the plane and change it up, and that's what we're gonna do today. So I bought the white ones. I think it's actually called Milk Glass White. Yes, that's what it's called, and I will show you the package as soon as I clean up this little mess right here. Okay, this is the package, okay. It's a pretty long package, as you can see, and this is what it is right here, okay? So you can see what to get. And this is what it looks like. That's how thin it is, and that's what it looks like. And you basically use it like you would a glue gun. And it's awesome, and I love it. And let's get started. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to start by coloring the brown, and I start with the bark color, BR5, okay? So I used the brush for this because I thought it gave a better um, look when I was coloring. And sometimes you can actually see some of the uh, texture in with the coloring. So we're just gonna take the bark color and color it in. And I went around the ears and around the eyes. And as you can see here, there's like the inside of the ears. We're gonna be coloring those in a little bit different color so you can Either color those in with brown and then you'll make it lighter in a little bit, or you can leave them plain, which is what I'm gonna do for this one, and then we'll color it in later, okay? Now we also have to make sure that you check out the little nose. Wanna make sure that that nose stays red, so I'm gonna go around that too, so it will be a nice pretty red when we color it in with the red, okay? Now what I do suggest is any part that um, is not colored, go back and make sure you color it in because it kind of gives a finished look when you do that, okay? So we're going to color in this here. Color in the face. Still have to outline the eyes, which we'll be doing that in a minute. And don't worry if you go over, you can always go back and color it in. I see I went a little bit over in the eye, so I'm going to have to color that in. I just love the texture on this reindeer. They really did a great job when they designed this. It's so cute. And then also, with the tail, you can either color it in or you can leave it, and then we'll color it in a little bit later to show that it's like a little cotton tail. It's up to you, okay? So let me, almost done here. I'm gonna color that part in. And then behind the bow, like that. Okay, I think I'm good. So right now, that's the coloring that I've done so far, and I just did the brown part, okay? And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and make sure that the edges are done, just like I said, so it's finished off. I'll show you. Look inside there, right in there, you can see where the legs are not colored in all the, whoops, I'm going the wrong way. Um, not colored in all the way. See, there's a little bit of white. So I'm gonna color that in, because I think that looks better when it's done. So I'm gonna color that. Okay, there you go, better, see? Okay, so I think that's finished off. We're gonna put that down. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cap the BR, BRK5, sorry, BR5, it's bark, so it made me think of bark. <laughs> I'm gonna take out the brown here, which is BR2, it's called hot cocoa. So we're gonna color in the ears both sides because the inside would be lighter than the outside. Okay. I'm going to close that up. And then I'm going to use the RD4 for the red nose. I'm going to, oops, almost lost, the, oh, I did lose the cap. <laughs> I'm going to color in the red nose so it looks nice and bright like Rudolph would. Now if you don't want to make a Rudolph, you can always color it black. Totally up to you. I thought it was a good Rudolph day. Okay, and now I'm going to put this on the side. Actually, I'm gonna quickly get the cap. It's way down there. Sorry about that, people. But I didn't want to uh, leave it hanging in case I forgot, which 
would happen and has happened. So here's the green. We're going to color in the uh, cute little bow here. And I really love the bright green. I think it really is a great color. So we're coloring that in. I think I'm going to switch and get the brush out because I think the brush will be more helpful. Just getting in the little crevices that we need to do. There we go, that's better. All right. So that is the green bow, that's done. And now I'm going to actually grab the black pen. And I forgot I'm going to need this one too, so I'm gonna let you know again what you need in just a second. Okay, so I am using the brush nib on this and I'm going to do the outline of the eye. It's just a little bit light touch outline. And sometimes I'll even add a little bit of eyelashes there. Just a little bit. And then here's the eyeball. And I add a little bit of a line on top for the eyelid. And I think that is all for that. I'll show you how it is so far. Okay. I'm going to be touching up the um, the uh, brown in a minute. I notice there's a few little spots that probably need to be touched up. So now what I'm doing is I'm using the NU1 and I'm just coloring the tail because the white isn't actually white white. It's a little bit off-white and I thought that would look a little bit more realistic although I am coloring a, a Mod Podge reindeer. I do still want it to be a little bit realistic. <laughs> okay, so let me show you again what colors you'll need. And then I'll, oops, and then I'll finish coloring this one up. Okay. Here we go. We've got, I forgot the other two. That's why I'm doing this again for you, just to make sure you know what you need. You need the GR3, the BR5, RD4, BR2, BK4, and the NU1. Um, if you are interested in getting the chameleon pens, we have a great deal right now um, for the United States only. It is $79.99, and that includes priority shipping. We only have a few left, so make sure that you grab it while you can, because once they are gone, um, they it may be a little bit since the holidays are coming before I get them back in stock. So um, if you are outside of the U.S., please let me know and give me your exact mailing address as USPS would like it, and I will let you know how much shipping is, okay? So let's see, do, do, do. you've got that. Okay, so now I'm gonna take out the BR5 and I'm just gonna to touch up the little spots that I think that the, the reindeer needs and I'll show you what I mean in a second. See over here, like right over here, it needs to be a little bit darker just to kind of finish it up, make it look a little bit better. That's what I'm doing, okay? So I'm just gonna color that right in here. Make that ear stand out a little bit more, a little bit more prevalent. There we go. That's better. Yeah, I think that helped a lot. Really helped. And sometimes you can even recolor a little bit of the brown, which I'm doing right now, just to add a little bit more focus to the beautiful red and green. And you can also do it to make it a little bit darker of a reindeer. You could add a little bit lighter. There's a whole bunch of different things you can do to make this look a little bit different in color. So I personally like it. This one here I did a little bit darker. This one here I did a little bit lighter. And I really like how they came out. So like I said, there's a ton of things you can do with these mod melts. And one of the things is you can color them yourself. So I use the chameleon pens, and if you have a whole set of chameleon pens, they, there is 20 colors and a detail pen and a blender pen, and they are awesome. And I have some really great YouTube videos on how to use them. 
Um, they're really amazing and they are my go-to alcohol pen. I just love them. And there's so many different variations you can get with just one marker. So I hope you enjoyed this um, tutorial today. My name is Melissa and I appreciate you coming to visit with me. I hope that you will check out our website at www.acreativejourneywithmelissa.com or www.acjwm.com. We also have amazing stamps. We have sign language stamps. We have awareness ribbon stamps, including cancer awareness, breast cancer awareness, autism, just some really great stamps that people can create with and do all kinds of wonderful things. You'd be amazed at the things I've seen. We have very, very talented talented, talented customers. So thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed going on a creative journey and have a great day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.